We watched Gone in 60 Seconds from 2000, directed by Dominic Cena, written by Scott Rosenberg, Nicolas Cage, Angela Jolie, Giovanni Riabisi, mm-hmm. Robert Duvall, Timothy, all the fan. Dude, this movie, uh, I don't think we've reviewed too many movies that we like didn't like, uh-huh. but I think this one and then the next movie we're going to talk about, we probably didn't really like them that much. We didn't yeah. like, this movie was like pretty mid yeah. to like not good and yeah it it was it just simply on like the premise is cool nick cage is cool all the actions are so poorly executed the well there wasn't any like, there like wasn't any action in it. there was no yeah it was just like fucking oh, dude. no it was just like mid on mid and it just wasn't like that interesting at all like to follow and I'm, i was just i thought this movie was supposed to be about cars i guess yeah but there's literally like me too. No car chases until like the end, and it's like not even that good of a It's car. not a chase, dude. It's like literally like, all right, reposition, shoot, all right, reposition, shoot, you know, like, and they do the weird like shaky cam, hide the action kind of shooting where like the stunt driver's not doing anything crazy, you know what no. I mean? And like, the characters are like not even interesting. They're not interesting. The story's like, not fleshed out it doesn't pace well it's not cool they're not cool people even though they try to like make them sound so cool you know the only person that was believable was like maybe nick cage seems like he was having fun with it but like if it's gonna be called gone in 60 seconds and the premise is all right we need to steal 50 high-end cars in a night better be fucking good you know it better be like cool action yeah yeah. that's what i expect it's not not, like no bullshit with the story of like where are they now Oh, they gotta steal this car. Oh, this Roblox's in their way. Oh, that they have to do. Th- and it's like, dude, just show me some like fucking sick car stuff, you know? A lot of it was like insert shots. Oh, me hot wiring. Oh, me opening the engine. Me putting this like clamp. There. And the story doesn't make any sense. Like, basically, like it's about a guy who like gets in trouble with the mobster type. Mm-hmm. British dude, and he has to like jack fifty cars for him, or else he's gonna kill him. He's gonna kill his brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the, I'm talking about from the younger brother's perspective. So he, he gets his. It Bunch. doesn't make any sense of the motives of the characters because he has Nicholas Cage's character has to come in to save his brother, and the way he's gonna save his brother's life is if he steals fifty cars in one night. The fact that he wants to do it, it slowly starts to make less and less sense. <laughs> <laughs> why yeah. he's yeah. he's doing it dude yeah it makes no sense like other than oh this moves the story along like when the cops see nick cage right and they're like oh you're back in town and he's like i'm back in town on family business they would arrest him right then they know who he is they know that he's gonna steal these cars but, yeah like the whole even the whole ending it doesn't even make any sense. He returns all the cars. I don't even care to spoil it. He like returns all the cars and then the guy's like, it's not good enough. This one's broken. And then they literally just kill him. They it's, just kill him and it makes everything not even like worth like whatever the fuck. Like well, they could have just killed him in the first place or some shit like yeah, that, you know? No, I don't know. I don't know, dude. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, like and you knew when he, they were going to get, he wasn't going to accept that they had all the cars. Yeah. You knew that. Yeah. Was, like. From the from the beginning, yeah, yeah, and he gives him all the cars, and the guy's like, "It's not good enough. I'm gonna like kill your brother or whatever." Then they kill him, which would have been much easier than like stealing these fifty cars. Yeah, and uh, I have to mention like the love story in this too. What's the love story? There's a love story in with this? Nick Cage and Angela Jolie. Oh, that was so like forced, dude. It was so flat, and like they had no chemistry at all. No, she was barely on set, dude. I bet she was there Bro, for maybe like three days max. Her role is not. It just falls flat. Like yeah. she's like barely in it, and then if she does something, it's like, what does she even do in the movie besides like be kind of hot? Yeah, that's it, dude. She has weird, weird ass, weird dreadlocks. Yeah, which is like really off putting. Yeah, she it's looks like it's definitely like a early two thousand style. Like this is in, this is cool. Yeah, she like, looks so gross. You know. Yeah, she, you said that she looks gross, and like, she kind of looks like yeah, she doesn't like wash her hair or like kind of smells bad or. She yeah. just looks like kind of like a junky bartender girl who yeah. you would see like at a sleazy dive bar somewhere. Yeah. But and she doesn't do a good job really in the movie, but I guess she's not working with any good material. There, None of them are. No, none of them are. She's in it for maybe like 
a max like 15 minutes event. yeah yeah and i bet they advertised they advertise this movie with like her on like the poster and oh show. yeah i had heard about this movie and i was always like oh yeah that movie with nick cage and Angel- angeline jolie yeah you know but she's barely Bruh, in it. no it didn't it didn't work the that whole love scene and the sexual car shit was just not it was just kind of cringy also also the reason nick cage left is such a bullshit reason because of course like when you're introducing nick cage in a movie it's like i've been out of the game for too long yeah. and it's like you have to come back your brother's in trouble and he's like fine i'll do it i'll steal these cars but like his reason for leaving was, like, such bullshit in the first place. Oh, his mom asked him to leave, so his brother wouldn't get involved, and his brother's involved. Like, what the fuck are you doing not talking to your brother in, like, 20 <laughs> years, you know? Giovanni Rabisi is such an idiot in the beginning. Like, why would you go and help him? Like, why would you, like, he's such a fucking, like, fuck up. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And Nicholas Cage is like, I have to do because my brother. But it's like, dude, like, Giovanni Ribisi was just being completely reckless. It's not even like he got, he was unlucky and got into a bad spot. He literally, like fucking steals that car in the beginning and just driving so fast and all the cops they're just he's such a fuck up too it just doesn't even make any sense like the whole yeah he looks gross too dude he looks sleazy as fuck dude and i also want to say that robert duvall is like one of my favorite actors of all time i like seeing him on screen and i liked him in this you know what i mean like he was all right he was all right he was like probably the best character there Mm. like it seemed the most believable you know yeah but this so this movie made a lot of money it did? Yeah, it made like two over two hundred million. Yeah. It made a two hundred fifty box office and I think it might have cost like uh like maybe like eighty million maybe. Mm-hmm. So it was like a hit, but like I think the credits didn't really fuck with it. Because it wasn't it's like pretty lame. Yeah, you could tear it apart. Yeah. You know? And it's like two it didn't really age well, like two thousands yeah. vibe to it. Yeah, still like we talk about the story and all the plot holes in it and stuff, but really like I wouldn't mind the plot holes at all if the action was at least yeah. halfway decent, but it wasn't. It was so mid. It was mid. It was really mid. And like th- that that whole thing just made the movie fall flat for me at the end. Because I feel like they kind of hooked you in the whole time of like the promise of, of some big action race or something like that through the streets of LA, but like fucking it was an ambulance oh yeah and, you know? and the whole time and space shit about it where they're like we're gonna get like to long beach in 30 minutes or something like that and it's like they're in long beach like the next cut or something it, <laughs> yeah, it just yeah, simply doesn't make any sense you're like you're like we were watching it and you're like dude they're down they're downtown and they have to get to long beach yeah it's like 8 a.m in the morning minutes. yeah it's like 8 a.m <laughs> yeah in the morning during rush hour god I'm glad we watched it though. Like, yeah, we like watch it because of the Nick Cage stuff, and like it's fun to watch movies like that sometimes. Yeah, no, especially it really with Nick is. Cage because he takes it so seriously. But the whole movie is really corny and like yeah. it hasn't aged well. But it's fun to watch if you're like a Nick Cage fan, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I would say like check it out if you want like just something stupid to put on.